The rivers of the Kruger National Park in South Africa bring life to one of the greatest diversities of animals on the continent. In over 100 years of the park's existence, six main rivers have formed the arteries of Kruger. Of these, only three have been permanent rivers. The others flow only seasonally when or if the rains arrive. For an area of land the size of Israel, and home to over 10,000 elephants and many hundreds of thousands of antelope and their predators, the promise of the rivers is essential, but ever more under pressure. On the continent of Africa, tucked away in a southeastern corner, lies an island of bush where a handful of animals found a last refuge from hunters, far from the beaches they used to roam. If there was a hunter's hell, here it was, a hundred square miles or so of all you would think bad in Central Africa, lifted up by some titan and plonked down in the Cape province. Once in the jungle, it was seldom possible to see more than five paces ahead, and the jumble of undergrowth consisted of thorns and spikes of every description. A terrible country. This was how a traveler described Addo about a century ago. Notwithstanding this, Major Philip Pretorius, assigned to kill elephants in the area, succeeded in killing 120 in that season. In the thick bush, he used a ladder to position himself for each shot. Fortunately, he was restrained from killing the last 16 elephants in Addo, and in 1931, Addo Elephant Park was founded.